fact there's an incredible backstory that deserves to be told about Steamboat and how you inherited this amazing ice sculpture competition, if you will. <laughs> I've been here for 17 years. The snow sculptures have been part of Winter Carnival, which is 104 years old, 78 years of snow sculptures, okay. and last year the snow sculptures didn't happen. The community was a little heartbroken, rallied around, came up with a solution and asked us to lead the entire process. Today's visit is really the start Mm -hmm. of rebuilding the community and giving them back a piece of what's been in existence for decades here. Isn't that great? And now it is great <laughs> and it falls to you to take on that mission mm -hmm. and work with the sculptor mm -hmm. and allow the community to have that piece back. That's Absolutely. so cool. Of all the arts places I've been to around the country, I've never actually seen a group open to the community that walks them through the creative process mm -hmm. in such a deliberate, methodical way yet being totally open-ended, saying, here's the tools that you need, here's the process that we're gonna go through, mm -hmm. but it's open to your creativity. Yeah. I applaud you for doing that. I think that is great to have that in a community mm -hmm. where you can literally teach people the process that they should go through mm -hmm. in order to come up with a great result that everybody can appreciate. Well, thank you. That's very thank powerful. You. Yeah. A saw is a great tool, and this is just a small hand saw, that you can make nice, smooth slabs that come off cut away and start to get the forms that you're interested in. Historically, it's been a high school event. This year, the Arts Council is leading it. We decided to open up the sculpting to the entire community. That's great. This tool, it's a great, scary looking thing. Um, you can see how you can really start to smooth your edges and get a nice surface. We have a certain number of sculptures that will be guaranteed for the high school. Sure, and a $5,000 scholarship that right? we'll be giving out, right? Yes, That'll yes. That'll be split up between the different team members. Correct. That I Correct. think is amazing, that you're mm -hmm. able to get a private donor to come in mm -hmm. and say, I believe in this community, I'm gonna back it, I'm gonna help bring this back yeah. from our history, yeah. and I'm gonna make sure that the kids get rewarded for it. Right. That's awesome. Incentivized. Yeah, very incentivized. And then inspired by other community members that have our businesses, that have additional sculptures. Of course, the chisel. You can start to get more detail. It's just, it's, it connects us, you know? It connects uh, the high schoolers to the, to the businesses and to the other organizations and other families that they might not ever meet. And here they are going to sculpt these great ice sculpture or snow sculptures right next to each other. And for only $50, a business can get involved. I think that's one of the best sponsorship opportunities for <laughs> right? a business I've ever heard of to yes. sponsor a snow sculpture. Yeah. And then you've got a team that's guaranteed the spot. They get a big block of snow, they start carving, and mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. So what has inspired you to work with this group and take on this project? Um, I, ha I have a reverence for the heritage of this place. I want to celebrate that heritage through arts and culture. And the snow sculptures are a place where the snow sports meets the creativity is right here on the streets with the snow sculptures. A good old wire brush, you know, it does more of the same. But you can start making more details. What does community mean to you? Community to me means connectedness. It comes with respect and honor, the kindness that we were talking about, all of those things coming together and just connecting. Engagement is a really important part of community and when we can engage on a creative plane, for me, I'm there. I think if I do my sculpture, I want to start at two o'clock in the morning. Just have the peace of the nighttime in the winter. Nothing like being out in the cold in the middle of the night. I love what your sculptor had mentioned also, which is that sculptures, especially these snow sculptures that will come up, are like cornerstones of kindness. I think that Aww. is just so cool. What sure. a great concept. The energy that, that comes from the creative process inspires me every single day. Um, people that have been here before me inspire me. I walk through the doors of this 1908 train depot and <laughs> I, I say a, 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 a moment of gratitude every single day because the women, mostly women, um, really formed this arts organization and the 
what it took back then in the early 70s and, and what it takes now. Um, I, they're a source of infra, inspiration for me. The children that are here just playing with glue and <laughs> all kinds of stuff are very, very much inspirational.